I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. Okay. It's been a while. Almost five months since the last Vex project. But I'm back. Hello everyone. It's Cerberus here with a car made out of Vex parts. Again, for those of you who don't know what Vex is, it is one of the world's leading robotics construction and competition products. Now many of you would think that a car made out of something like Vex parts is easy. Just, you know, hook up a motor to two or more wheels and BAM, that's it. However, this one is much more sophisticated with one main feature, steering. Now, steering on most cars is done with the system involving what's called a rack and pinion which is basically a small gear and a plate with teeth. However, I don't have a rack and pinion, sadly, so I had to get a little bit innovative. First, I designed what you all saw in the beginning with a gear assembly train thing turning the whole wheel enclosure. But now, it is much more streamlined. You see here that we still turn the wheel enclosure, but in a much smarter way. Actually similar to how real steering works. So the steering motor drives a 1 to 3 ratio gearbox, which moves a long plate. This plate is connected with a beam to two plates on the wheels and essentially push and pull them. The 1 to 3 ratio helps the car steer slowly. In real steering, the rack is actually the part that pushes and pulls the wheels. Now, one might think, why does pushing and pulling the wheel turn it, or rotate it? The secret is in these anchors, as well as the universal joint here. This joint, paired with the anchors, give the wheel an axis of rotation. So pulling the wheel from a point away from that axis exerts a torque on it, causing it to rotate about that axis. Now, driving the wheels was a completely different issue. First, I'd like to explain some terminology that I use. So direct driving for me means that the motor uses a lossless connection to the wheel such as gears or driving the wheel off of the motor. Now, indirect driving means that the motor's connection to the wheel can result in a loss of driving force, such as a pulley or just using a rubber band or friction. As you saw in the first clip, the car directly drove the rear wheels but indirectly drove the four wheels, which resulted in an imbalanced driving force and most of the time the four wheels never got driven. So. The rear wheels basically just pushed the car forward, and without the four wheels driving, the car simply skidded forward. Now it did turn slightly with maximum steering, but just not enough. So I decided to use direct driving on both the rear and four wheels to make all wheel drive. The driver motor now sits on top of the steering motor and drives all four wheels simultaneously using a very long gear train. Everything else actually is essentially structure. The huge undercarriage piece on the bottom holds the motors in place and pulls the sides of the build together, at least on the bottom. While we're here, there's also a tiny strut in the middle holding that steering motor in place, along with holding the two sides together as well. There are also four structural supports holding the VEX brain up, I'm not allowing it to drop to the ground, and multiple struts across the side and on the front and back keep the car very structurally sound. Lastly, the drivetrain is held in by axles with rubber bushings to make sure that the gears don't move too much. So yeah, you can clearly see that this car is just not coming apart anytime soon. Now, just when you thought it was over, there's more! I made a slew of accessories to the car, similar to real-life car packages. There are three packages to choose from, Deluxe, Rugged, and Select. The deluxe package is the luxury package designed to fit every stylistic need. It features a convertible roof, custom VEX wheel covers for the front, and bumper plates on the front and rear. The rugged package is meant for heavy working tasks and includes a winch, a hood with a locking mechanism, a rear trailer hitch, a box car to ride along and carry things, and an engine conversion to dual electric motors to generate more torque. The select package is your budget package that includes essential parts from the other two. Front and rear bumpers, the locking hood, and a rear trailer hitch. These packages allow someone to customize their car and tune it to their needs. Well, 
That's it. Those are the features that I wanted to show off. I am extremely proud of this creation and hope to make more like it in the future. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those. Thank you all so much for watching and have a happy Thanksgiving.